Did you know that the average person switches tasks every 40 seconds? Each interruption costs your brain 23 minutes of recovery time. AI promises productivity, but it is stealing our attention. A lot of you over the years have asked me how I do so much in a day. I am sharing my productivity secret in this video and it is not an AI app. It is a three-step system that changed everything for me after reading this book, Deep Work. Let's dive in. Every AI-powered recommendation, every algorithmic suggestion, every smart notification is designed to keep us engaged, but not focused. Science shows that each context switch costs our brain 23 minutes of recovery time. Now multiply that by hundreds of AI-driven interruptions we face daily, and we are losing hours of productive time without even realizing it. Years ago, I read this amazing book by Carl Newport called Deep Work. Here it is. Now here's my biggest takeaway from the book. It's not just about focusing, it's about making your mind distraction proof or in today's world we can call it AI proof. And the world's top performers are already using it. Look at Bill Gates. He takes complete think weeks in a secluded cabin. J.K. Rowling wrote Harry Potter. Last part, she rented a hotel room to isolate herself from all distractions. And Adam Grant, Warden's youngest tenure professor, he goes completely off grid during his research periods. Here's the three-step system. Step one, the attention reset. Delete your non-essential apps. Yes, even those AI-powered productivity tools. Set up the focus hours where all notifications are blocked. Create a dedicated workspace free from smart devices. Really key. Step two is strategic deep work. Now, choose your deep work style. Newport outlines four philosophies in the book for incorporating deep work into your lives. The first is the monastic philosophy, where you block extended periods of intense focus times. This could be days. Bimodal philosophy is where you alternate between deep work and shallow work. So you take some part of the day. Rhythmic philosophy is where you set up regular consistent blocks of deep work. Maybe I do that in the morning. Journalistic philosophy is where you fit deep work into small pockets of time wherever you get them. For me, and I think for most people starting out, the rhythmic philosophy is the most effective. It involves scheduling the one to four hours chunks of deep work at the same time every single day. Now, this is the time when I dedicatedly work on a new thing or a new course, a new concept, a new content plan. Step three, the AI proof protocol. Now, here's where we get smart about AI. How do we measure our productivity? Let's take an example. If your goal is to publish five academic papers in a year, you might track hours spent in deep work, which is called a lead measure, rather than papers published, which is a lag measure. Now here's why this works. Deep work creates a new neural pathways through the deliberate practice. This is why multitasking is counterproductive. Our brain needs time to fully immerse in a task. Each session of deep work physically rewires our brain by creating and strengthening these neural connections through myelination, like upgrading our brain's internal wiring for faster, more efficient processing. Now, regular deep work practice acts like an armor, training our brain to automatically filter our distractions and maintain focus, making us naturally resistant to the constant pings and pulls from our apps and phones. So here's your challenge. Start with just one hour of deep work tomorrow. No AI, no notifications, no distractions, just pure focused effort on your most important task. 
in an AI driven world, the ability to focus deeply isn't just helpful, it's actually our secret weapon to stay ahead of everybody and AI. With that, I would love to hear how you focus on your work deeply. Share with me in the comments below. I would love to know your tips and subscribe for more such content. Don't forget to like if you like this video.